I'm Maroon Bharadwaj from PI India, which published the magazines uh, Efficient Manufacturing and Automation and Digitization. Today we are here in the iCreate Center of uh, Gujarat, which is promoting the uh, startups, funding them, giving them the uh, pl you know the place to stay, work on uh, you know their labs. So I have today with me CEO of iCreate, Mr. Avinash Punekar. So Avinash ji, आप थोड़ा बताएं कि iCreate what is iCreate and what they are doing. So iCreate started with an idea of few individuals who wanted to uh, create. Uh, the entrepreneurial uh, capital for the country so to promote entrepreneurs to promote entrepreneurship especially technology based entrepreneurship was the core idea these individuals started with uh, 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 their uh, first step was with like nirma university what is now nirma university yes. nirma labs they had set up uh, one of the first like actually key incubators and then like actually uh, that time uh, prime minister modi was the chief minister who saw that experiment and was uh, impressed and he sensed that like this has a lot of potential in this idea and like that was probably the germination of like making india like the startup capital or like a leader that came to his mind true and he asked like these individuals to like actually scale that effort up into a larger initiative and he said like okay this is where we will create an entity a unique model where like a private not for profit entity had a joint venture with a government entity to form a not for profit section it company which has become mm -hmm. now india's largest biggest incubator this Absolutely. idea started from there but was to take it up to the national and international level Great. and that is that is something which like really has been like actually the genesis of the idea individuals who were driven by the idea of entrepreneurship technology they came together government provided like the what you call it like the hardware or the support in terms of infrastructure and resources and the institution was built the institution building takes a long time and this is like one of the unique institution which has been created in the country this was the first step after like actually i create step as well like the prime, uh, prime minister moved from like actually in the word to uh, delhi as the prime minister from being the chief minister he took these ideas and built the national startup policy and like the whole initiative based on this idea which was there that like startups are going to be the uh, engines of india's economy and engines of india's growth and that has like actually turned out into uh, the initiative or the movement which has made like actually india now as the third largest startup ecosystem in the world and from like very few startups to like actually now having more than 120000 startups is a step which has been basically like it started with probably like the first step taken with i create so i create started as an idea probably like around two, uh, 2012 12 when uh, uh, 12 is when like actually the uh, joint venture was formed and activity started so this the was the this itself, was the idea of uh, then chief minister narendra modi and then yeah. he became the prime minister. prime minister and he still supported uh, yes. i create definitely mm -hmm. uh, so the campus itself was actually inaugurated in year uh, 2018 okay so this was like inaugurated by the prime minister of uh, india modi ji and then israeli prime minister so both of them like actually inaugurated this campus in person also with like a india israel innovation acceleration program which was there and this is something which is now like actually grown far bigger and uh, definitely in terms of scope like a lot more scope mm. like mm. which is there and opportunity which is there right now okay. now the significant impact that we are going to see is like actually indian startups uh, going global and creating that like impact which is something which i am really excited about a lot of like innovation is happening a lot of like new development is happening indian entrepreneurs are no longer like actually just limited to software or relatively mm. like simpler businesses they are getting into hardcore engineering hardcore manufacturing and related like uh, 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 ideas and coming out with some absolutely amazing products and like solutions and technologies 
So this is a good example of like yes. one of the uh, uh, technologies and products that we have done. Uh, this is a battery run uh, this is cycle. A, a electric cycle which has been developed by one of our uh, startups here on the campus. Good. A uh, few years back when uh, the whole move towards electric vehicles started, India was like importing 95% of the yes. components, primarily China or like other countries. And we started with Evangelize Grand Challenge, a center of excellence for electric vehicles, which resulted in like actually a number of like actually startups encouraged. Hmm. And in fact, in cycles, two wheelers and three wheelers, now 85% of the components now have been indigenous. So that's why FAME 2, FAME 1 and FAME 3 policies government has introduced to actually promote the indigenous parts of these electric vehicles. Uh, very happy to say that like iCreate has been at the forefront of the EV revolution in India. Good to know. And it is uh, definitely going to be there like for uh, our startups and innovators to like actually take this journey further. As the CII 2024 report talks about the startups and they say from 16, 2016 to 2023, Startups have contributed around 10 to 15 percent of total GDP of India. And even the job generation by startups, they are expecting by 26 or 28, 50 million jobs. So iCreate is contributing to create those uh, jobs and also contributing to the GDP. So uh, we have like multiple entry points for startups. We start, uh, in fact, like right from like actually school, college uh, uh, students. The number of schools like uh, in and around like I create campus who visit. In fact, like there have been schools from outside schools and colleges from outside the state also who have been visiting here. So it's uh, pan India. Pan India. I create's mandate is across the entire country. So we have number of like uh, visitors. We have some fellowship programs to inculcate the spirit of like actually entrepreneurship or innovation in the students. An innovation which has potential is what we support. We conduct a lot of programs across various academic uh, uh, institutions, engineering colleges, partner organizations across India. Similarly, like actually other institutions bring their students to us for visits and like for programs where we spread the awareness about entrepreneurship, innovation, and the ecosystem. What we do is we look at entrepreneur rather than like just the project. A project may fail. Hmm. The person doesn't necessarily fail. When the innovation or entrepreneur or startup is ready, there are two types of engagement. One is the pilot engagement kind of thing. That they don't have a product yet, but it is not the requirement is that if live environment in a pilot in a live environment, so whatever like actually smaller nuances or like Testing issues stage, which are there, mil jata hai unko. so that can be achieved. So we have a number of industry partners which are now working with like our startups in like doing that. Other way around like actually what has also happened is some of the industries have come and said like we are giving you our cycles, bikes, scooters or cars or whatever platforms. Let your startups play with it and put their product and test it out. Hmm. Okay. So this is a mutually win-win situation. Three years ago, we launched Evangelize Grand Challenge nationally for mm -hmm. electric vehicles. Ke startup ke liye. First year, we had 500 entries in the first year. In the next year, we had about 1700-1800 entries. Last year's iteration, we got 2700 odd entries. Oh. Okay. So about 5,000, we took out of that, we have only said that we have been on board in 40 years. It doesn't mean that the incubation is not only funding. Yes. The technical guidance mentoring, business guidance mentoring, is a very important thing. So your team, top management or senior management, उसमें ये सब लोग होंगे जो डिजिटल साइड पे कैसे करना है क्योंकि आजकल कोई प्रोडक्ट बनता है सर्विसेज या कुछ भी है उसका जब तक डिजिटाइजेशन नहीं करेंगे वो हाफ रहता है उसकी रीच बहुत होती है सो यू मस्ट बी हैविंग पीपल विद द वेरियस कैपेबिलिटीज एक्सपर्टीज इन योर टीम टू मेंटर दो स्टार्टअप्स बिल्कुल सही इनफैक्ट आई क्रिएट का जो सीनियर लीडरशिप टीम है दे आर 
very very accomplished professionals from industry with 20 30 years of or mm. sometimes more experience from the industry right so they have seen the market they have seen the world they have been entrepreneurs themselves okay. so they have seen it and they have been able to like actually like nurture the innovators and support them what had happened especially during covid and after covid kind of thing a lot of our notions of like how work needs to be done or where changed hmm. yes so even the incubation where we were always looking at like earlier at 100% on campus kind of uh, incubation has changed so now we have a hybrid model okay so some startups stay on the campus full time some of the startups work remotely but all startups come to campus every quarter for at least a week we have fabulous technology uh, technical manpower available in india which is comparatively cheaper yes. in terms of infrastructure we're making a lot of progress lot of like actually thriving ecosystem which is there so this is the right environment for entrepreneurs and innovators it is a place where like actually international innovators not necessarily just the nris kind of thing are going to start looking at how can i like get incubated in an incubator in india money goes where opportunity is yes absolutely great now global investors are seeing that like the opportunity yes. is in india we have the market we have the size yes. we have the pool talent pool or innovators and entrepreneurs we have now like the infrastructure or the technology is available and we have the momentum now this is a momentum which is going to like actually take us towards that dream of like having viksit bharat in 2047 mm. how does that happen like it is it is the momentum ultimately 